What's going on everyone? Brian here from Native Instruments. Contact is a super powerful sampler for some of the best sample-based instruments available, but it can do so much more than just play instruments. So here are 10 things that you may not have known about Contact. Did you know that you can load multiple instruments inside a Contact, letting you create a unique multi-layered instrument? One example of this is creating a full orchestra. The first library I'll load is a Symphony Series Brass Ensemble. Next, I'll click the down arrow to go to the next slot, click on Library, and let's load the Symphony Series String Ensemble. Next, we need to get the wind section in here. We'll do the same process and click the down arrow to go to the next slot, click Library, and select the Symphony Series Woodwinds Ensemble, and double click to load. If you need to change any of the parameters on the three instruments that you've loaded, you can just click the up and down arrow to access them. You can also mute and solo each individual instrument, or you can also adjust the volume of each one. You can also get super creative and layer very different sounds together. Did you know that you can load custom libraries inside a contact and have them appear in the browser just like all of your other instruments? First, click the import content icon in the bottom left of contact. Next, click add, and then select the folder of the library that you wanna to add to your browser. Click open, and then select the library and click rescan just to make sure that all of the sounds and samples have been scanned. You can also double click here and change how it's labeled inside of contacts browser. Now, if I close out of this window, you can see I have the 99 sound effects instrument. I can select it and double click to load it. Did you know that you can resize the browser in contact and the GUI of an instrument once it's loaded? When in the browser, dragging the bottom right corner lets you resize the window, letting you see more or less instruments at once. You can also drag the bar between the instruments and the presets. If you want to make the GUI bigger once an instrument is loaded, just click on View at the top, go down to Zoom, and select a few different preset options. Did you know that when you're filtering through sound type or character, you can actually select multiple filters at once? For example, clicking on any of the filtering types under character, only one of these I can select. However, if I hold down command and click on another filter, I can now filter my presets list based on bass and digital. Let's do one more and select arpeggiated. The presets on the right are now all arpeggiated bass sounds that are digital. This is just another way that you can find the type of sound that you're looking for even quicker. Did you know that with some instruments in contact, you can route individual sounds to their own audio channels inside of a DAW? For example, with 40's very own drums, I want to route each pad to its own audio channel inside of Ableton so I can record this as audio, making it much easier to mix everything. First, I'll go to View at the top and select Rack View, and then go back to View and select Outputs. I'll then configure the output section by clicking the drop down here, going to Factory, and selecting Stereo 16. This creates 16 stereo output tracks inside a contact. Next, we'll click on Kit and select the first pad. You can see when I trigger different sounds, everything right now is coming out of output one. With the first pad selected, I'm gonna to go to Output here and select Set All Pads to Sequential Outputs. Now when I trigger the sounds, we can visually see each sound is outputting on its own channel. We now need to create separate audio channels for each of the pads. I created an audio track, and then where it says audio from, click the drop down and select our 40's very own drums track. 
Below, I'll click the drop down and select Contact Out 2. I'll do this again 16 times, one audio track for each individual pad. I'll select all the audio tracks and set monitoring to in just so we can hear it. Now when I trigger each pad, we can hear it on its own audio track. Now that it's all set, we can arm all of the tracks, hit record, and track this in as audio. Now that it's printed as audio, you can slice and dice it, or you can adjust the volume of each individual stem. Did you know that Contact has a ton of built-in effects that you can add directly to the output channel? For example, let's say I want to add some more distortion specifically for this sound. We can see that it's being routed to Output 2. If you click on the triangle in the drop-down below, these are all the effect categories that you can select from. Let's choose something like Reverb. Let's try another option here. If you want to change any of the effect parameters, just click on the effect name, and from here you can start manipulating the effects. There's also factory presets for each of the individual effects. Layer multiple effects together to create something unique. Did you know that you can quickly access all of your favorite instruments and custom libraries using Quick Load? To bring up the Quick Load area, you can either click the View button at the top and select Quick Load, or you can just right-click in the GUI. In the Quick Load area, you can have quick access to either instruments, instrument banks, or multis. For example, I have these two custom multis that I want to have quick access to. I can select them in the Finder, drag them into Contact, and drop them into the multi area. You can organize these further by creating a folder structure. If you right click in the space below, you can select add new folder and name it anything you want. I can then drag in the multis that I want to add to the folder. To load anything from the quick browse, you can either drag and drop it into the GUI area above or just double click it. Did you know that you can speed up the load time of instruments using Battery Save? If you have certain libraries that seem to take forever to load, Battery Save can help fix that. Open the contact application, and then go to File, and then select Battery Save. With the dialog box that appears, you can just click Yes. Next, you'll want to navigate to the folder of the library you want to fix, and then click Open. Contact will then resave the file path of your patches for this instrument, making it faster for contact to know where all of the samples are located. Once it's done, try loading the instrument and you'll see that the load times have been greatly improved. Did you know that you can pin the browser so whenever you load a new instrument or preset, the browser stays open? When the browser isn't pinned, anytime you load a new preset or an instrument, the GUI's gonna appear. If you click the pin icon here, Anytime you load a new preset or an instrument, the browser is going to stay open. This allows you to quickly cycle through different presets without having to go back into the GUI. Did you know that you can tag your own user snapshots or even create your own tags for them? For example, I have this sound that I made from Playbox. I wanna add my own filter tags to make it easier to sort through everything. 
With the preset selected, I'll click the Info button down below, and then select Tags. Clicking this icon lets me edit the tags. From here, I can select different sound types or characters. I'll say it's a single note. It's also under Sound Effects. Character is Airy. And if there is a filtering option that's not currently there, you can always click the plus sign and name anything that you want, and click Apply. Now that we're done, we can exit out of edit mode. And now with this preset, you can see that the sound type is a single note in sound effects, and the character is airy and water. And now if I go back to my user presets, these are the brands, sound type, and character filters. And there's the water one that we created. Hopefully you learned a couple of new things about Contact that you didn't know before. For a more detailed overview, make sure you check out our How to Use Everything video in Contact, and also drop a comment below to share some of your favorite tips and tricks about Contact. Thanks for watching.